Welcome to Analog Tabletop. Hello and welcome to Analog Tabletop's How to Play Overview, where I give stats by a game and see how it plays in a reasonable amount of time. Mechanics include hand management and pattern building. This is all that comes in the box of Reef. Coming in at four pages, the rulebook is short, easy to understand, and has diagrams to go with the rules. Setting up Reef is easy. The main things are making piles of things and shuffling the cards. Reef is played in rounds. Each round you can either take a card or play a card. If you take a card, it's either from the top of the deck or one of three in the row that are already revealed. If you take one from the top of the deck, then one of the cards in the row gets one coin added to them. If you take one from the row, then you place a new one on top of the deck, and if there is a coin on top of it, you also gain it. When playing a card, you can do three things. You can gain Coral, place Coral, and you can possibly gain points from its pattern. Gaining Coral is easy. You gain the top numbered pieces of Coral on the card you play. Then you place a Coral on your board. They can go anywhere and can go on top of existing Coral of any color. However, the height limit is four, so after four pieces, no more Coral can go on top of it. Last is scoring coral from the pattern on the bottom of the card. When checking to see if you have a pattern complete, you only check the tops of your stacks. Some patterns have numbers. The number says what level they have to be, so for this card I need both colors to be a level 2. If the number has a plus on it, then it has to be that high or greater. If they have this symbol, then the colors can be random. You can possibly score the same pattern more than once, but you can't use the same pieces for scoring. Whenever one of the coral colors is out, the game ends after the current game round. Players can still then score patterns from their hand. The player with the most points wins.